I'd love to go back to home and away. I loved my time there. You know, if the storyline's right for, for Willow and for me at the time, of course, I'd love to. Um, like I said before, I became so close with everyone and they became like a family. So, um, I mean, yeah, being on that show feels like a holiday too because you just get to hang out with all your favourite people and to work every day. Um, yeah, I, I would love to do that. I love my time in Home and Away. Something that I really loved about working on Home and Away was that I was a bad girl and I was still Sri Lankan, but it wasn't... Um, ram down anyone's throat that I you know was it was a doctor for instance and an Indian it it didn't have anything to do with my um with my profession or my personality and it was it was also great to bring um I remember on Home and Away my my father sang a Sri Lankan lullaby to me when I was on my deathbed actually that's very dramatic but um it's beautiful to integrate culture like that into onto screens in Australia because you look around on Australian streets and people people come from all over the world and that's what's so beautiful about Australia I think as well I keep in touch with um, all of them Sophie and Patty I went and stayed with them recently we had a little sleepover um, I babysat their dog while they're in the UK um, who else Courtney Miller she's coming to the premiere on Thursday and so is um, so is Soph actually and then a lot of the crew as well I grew really close to the crew a lot of makeup artists are my really close friends now um, I see a lot of the um, you know crew that used to work on Home and Away on other sets that I work on which is always nice I mean such a beautiful friend of mine she's one of my best friends and she's always been there for me and I've always been there for her and um, I miss her a lot because she's living down in Melbourne now. Whenever I have something on or she has something on, we always make sure that we're there for each other. And um, she's just she's just the bestest friend. Um, and last but not least, Zoe Ventura. She's a really close friend of mine and um, we see each other all the time and she lives up the street too. So. I've got a few outrageous storylines. Um, look, I remember being locked in the car boot, locked in a car boot with Jimmy. And I'd first, that was when we'd first met. So we weren't together yet. And we filmed it in a real car boot and I'm claustrophobic. Uh, and I hadn't told anyone that yet. So that was quite challenging for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a fun scene. And it's quite, uh, it's something that's never happened to me before in real life. I think it's quite outrageous.